Hi guys, welcome back to HowMachineWorks.com. Today let's learn how a load hold check valve works in a construction equipment. So we have uh, a basic hydraulic diagram of a construction equipment and we'll see how it exactly works. Watch the entire video and learn it. First, let's learn the purpose of load hold check valve before going into the technicals. So in a construction equipment, when you are doing a loading application, your bucket has, if you say you have 100 kg of soil inside, you have lifted to a particular stage, this height, you can see it has been lifted from the ground to this particular height, that is called stage 1, and we stop it over here, and then you further proceed in the stage 2 to lift it further high. So at this stage, when he lift it to this section, we close the valve block, and the load is being hauled at this particular stage and when we want to further lift it the hydraulic pump need to supply flow again to the hydraulic arms to lift it to create the pressure at that point of state we have already a load over here on the bucket so this load will act downwards which will actually give a tendency for this bucket to move downwards because here we have more load so at the time this hydraulic pump is creating the flow to lift this bucket to the second stage there is a tendency for the bucket to move downwards at a lag of two or three seconds it can move downwards this this can create accidents so to avoid that this bucket need to be fixed at this particular stage itself till the hydraulic pump is creating enough flow to lift the load of arm and the load of bucket so that system is controlled by a load hold check valve it's a check valve it's a one way valve which holds the bucket at this particular stage without allowing it to move downwards till the flow is being created to such an extent that it can lift the existing load on the bucket so let's see how it actually happens so now let's see uh, the technical part of it this is the reservoir or the hydraulic tank where we have the hydraulic oil this is our hydraulic pump so uh, when we are lifting the bucket the hydraulic pump takes the flow from here you can see the flow goes from the hydraulic pump through this hose and it goes to the hydraulic ram so here we have the hydraulic ram so the flow hits the hydraulic ram pistons over here and it will result in this to move upward so we have a weight say 100 kg over here on the hydraulic ram that's uh, considering towards the bucket so we stop it over here that is the stage one that is stage one over here and in the next stage we stop it and further we are trying to lift it at that point of time what happens is that this pump is again supplying a flow in the same direction towards the ram. So here we have more load as it's a 100 kg. Initially it has a tendency to move downwards till the required flow is being created. It will take about 2 to 3 seconds for the required amount of flow to push this 100 kg upwards again. So at that lag of 2 to 3 seconds this system has a tendency to move downwards which should not happen and this is against the safety requirements it can create accidents so to prevent that to hold the load at this level itself till the hydraulic pump is creating enough pressure we use a load hold check valve and the load hold check valve is located here almost here near the valve block here we ha will have a valve block and we'll see how it is been done so here we will we'll have the load hold check valve like this here we have a bolt. So when the flow is coming like this, it comes here, lifts the bolt towards the top like this and the flow can go like this at this direction and get into the hydraulic ram for the functioning of it. That is in stage 1. So when we stop it here at the stage 2, the ram will have a tendency to move downwards. So when it starts to move downwards, the flow will come in return. So the return flow comes like this and it hits here, this bolt and it will close the valve here, it will not allow the flow to return back to the hydraulic tank. So it will just hit this valve over here and it will get closed over here. So at this case, the load is getting hauled and it is not allowed to move downwards. And when the pump creates enough pressure, then the load over here, say here we have uh, 200 bar pressure acting from uh, the bucket towards the bottom and when we create 201 bar over here this lifts up and our flow comes into the direction and it gets moving 
and hits the hydraulic ram resulting in the hydraulic ram to move further upwards. So it holds the load and will not allow the hydraulic ram or the bucket to move downwards. That's why it's called a load hold check valve which prevents the bucket to move downwards when the second stage of operation is happening. So I believe you understand the working of a load hold check valve in a construction equipment. Please click the subscribe button for more technical video updates as we'll be uploading more videos on a daily basis. Please click the like button or do drop a comment to motivate our team. You can visit our website howmissureworks.com or our YouTube channel for more videos. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day.